Hi everyone, Anora Brennan here, and today we're going to do weighted exercises with our resistance bands. So, I love to incorporate a lot of balance and core into my workouts, and it's even harder actually with a resistance band. But I like to show options with dumbbells, with resistance bands, because, you know, prices are different, and also if you travel a lot, these are a lot easier to pack. Now, I'm going to show you a wrap. See, I'm first putting it over my shoelaces, over my shoelaces, okay? And then I loop it around my foot and around my foot, okay? I kind of even out the handles so you're nice and even, right? First one is going to be a balance bicep curl. So your one foot's out, the one that's holding the resistance band down there. Leg up, you can have it straight, you have it closer here if you needed to. I'm gonna have it up at 90. Arms out, elbows out in front. Bicep curl. Now you have to keep your core really tight to stay stable in this. You're gonna have that tug pulling you down. So it's actually even harder to balance in these moves. So here, leg up, pull. Now again, you can do these with dumbbells as well, but I'm showing you how to do it with resistance bands, so you have that option. Keeping your core tight, chest up. See that wobble? That's good. Because that means you're working and you're working all the stabilizing muscles, okay? And remember, make sure those elbows are out in front, not back here. That's shoulder exercise. We want bicep curl, right? Okay, next one. Now this one, if I fall, don't make fun of me. Okay, hard balance. So first I'm gonna just show you what your legs are gonna do. You're gonna start here, okay? Look, I'm already wobbling. Here, bring your leg out into warrior three. Okay, so nice straight leg. That's the leg movement. Now we're going to add a fly to that. When you add the fly, it's very easy to fall over. Okay, so we're going to concentrate, keep our cores in tight so you're here. You're going to go out into warrior three, hold it there, and then your arms do a fly. And then you come back up, knee up, add that little crunch in with the tuck of the pelvis, and you're out here. Hold it, fly. A fly does not have to be a big distance because you have so much tension in that lean forward position. But you want a really nice light band. Okay, now I'm gonna show you from the front. So here, start like this. So watch, my hands don't move that much. So I'm here, just like this. Ooh, get your balance here, and then see, watch. It's just that little movement, okay? And only one time, so you're here. Balance, 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 fly, come back up. Now, to modify this, this is what I would have you do. Knee, touch back, fly, knee, touch back, fly. You might want to use a more resistant band, but at least having that touch back will give you a little bit more balance, okay? So last one, I'm going to unloop this, but we're going to make a loop that looks like this. Maybe you can see it on the background. Yeah, the white. See, so I'm just crossing big loop. Okay, if you're using the same, especially if you're using the same band for those exercises, big loop, you're going to step where they intersect like this, cross. You're going to get into rock and launcher position. You want tension down here. See how small they are? Just like that, row up and back. So we're getting that back. But we're still incorporating our core by being in this rocket launcher position. 
So see, lots of tension. I'm going to scoot this over, show you the side view. So just like that, I step back, nice straight line with my body, and I pull. stretch. So, same wrap, okay, that we started with, where we put it over our shoes here on top of your shoelaces, then it wraps around, wraps around. We're going to improve our hamstrings like this. So, this leg can be up here, or it can be down, whatever is more comfortable for you, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, okay, pull this towards me. At the same time, I'm going to try and push my heel that way. Okay, so pushing my heel that way, almost like kind of up and out. Okay, so I'm going to do that for a count of three. One, two, three. Then I'm going to release and just pull towards me. Okay, I'm going to do one, two, three, pull towards me. So it's kind of trying to stay in the same place, putting that tension in that leg, and then you're releasing it. And eventually, it'll get more and more closer to you, and you'll get a better stretch here. So again, see how it kind of stays in the same place? Look, I'm gonna be pushing and pulling at the same time. One, two, three, and then I release, and then I pull it a little bit more towards me. A little release, really push, really push, really push, really push, and then release it to you. Okay? So, those are our moves. And this can be done for these, all those types of moves. It's a little bit more myofascist release, putting tension in the muscle, then releasing it, so it kind of warms it up, release, you can pull it closer to you. And that is our exercises for today. Have a wonderful week.